In January 2016, the National Centre of Indigenous Excellence, working in partnership with local community organisations and Redfern Police, selected 15 deadly young leaders to take part in the NCIE Young Leadership Camp at Uluru, Katajuta National Park. The young leaders participated in workshops about cultural identity, emotional and social well-being, breaking the cycle of lateral violence and smoking tobacco. NCIE staff and members of the Mutajulu Aboriginal community facilitated these workshops. Our teenagers gained first-hand experience of customs and traditions from Uncle Sammy Wilson, Mutajulu custodian, who shared stories about his community and the culturally significant areas in and around Uluru. Walking around Mutajula waterhole, we were surrounded by the presence of two ancestral beings, Kunia, the woman python, and Liru, the poisonous snake man. We awoke at 4am to embark upon our 12 km sunrise walk around the base of Uluru with our tour guides, Lauren and Alex from Sea It Outback Australia. Our knowledgeable guides shared the history of the rock art, the dreamtime stories, and the customs and traditions of the local Aboriginal communities. Uncle Sammy, current Chair of the Board of Management for Uluru Katajuta National Park, invited us to join the Mutajulu community, where we visited Mutajulu Community Care and the Job Seeker Centre and Anu Jobs. We also engaged in workshops with Amata Elders, Uncle Lee Brady and Uncle Stanley Douglas, who travelled from South Australia to share songline stories and conduct workshops on the kinship system. We visited a gathering area where Uncle Lee and Uncle Stanley demonstrated honey ant picking and our young leaders were only too keen to dig in. We also visited Katajuta where we experienced spectacular rock formations and incredible desert bush landscapes which were as breathtaking and awe inspiring as Uluru itself. Our deadly teenagers shared their own wisdom and knowledge in the tobacco workshops that we ran. They applied their own thoughts and experiences to tailor the stages of change of a tobacco quit journey. By documenting their own stages of change, they empowered themselves and contributed towards a healthier community lifestyle. Our future leaders reflected on their identity, spiritually, culturally, emotionally, and socially, in order to gain a deeper understanding of themselves their potential, their roles in community, and the next step in their life journey. Having a strong sense of identity and healthy ways to deal with stress are critical skills to tackle the alarming rates of smoking in Indigenous communities. Leadership and goal setting are extremely important attributes and are the foundation of this once in a lifetime trip. Having learnt and experienced so much of culture lifestyle and traditions at Uluru and Katajuta, our young leaders are more confident and capable of becoming future leaders in their communities. Uluru there is just lovely. I'm hearing the, the creation stories and you can just feel the power of Uluru in your presence. And Katajuta, we got there yesterday and it was way bigger than Uluru wider but I also noticed that one thing it was growing trees and grass on the top of it and that was because no one walks on it and like they respect it more than all the root like all the root people would walk on it but it's just all about respect and the power of the kind of like the spirits coming straight to you and saying good day how are you Oh, in um, Ananga tribe, they'd be saying Palya. And I just think that that's a great um, time to just think about your whole life and then just leave it here. Like, leave your old life if you had a past problem. Like, leave your old life here. Go back to wherever you came from. A new man, a new woman. Yeah.
My experience here was great. It was great, you know, connecting with all the all the young leaders around here. I think it's a really good experience for all of us. All of us all. We all came not knowing each other, and now that we're all like one big family, and hope to stay connected with everyone after this trip. We're all as a team, and I think we should all support each other. You know, one one of us sacrificed one thing that we all should support each other, and no peer pressure. And if someone's happy of their change, we should all support that. Young woman, young woman.